my Chanel wallet on chain restoration. Today I'm going to show you how I bravely actually updated my Chanel wallet on chain. All the corners of this bag were beaten up and I love it. I was wearing this in every vacation I go to. So I wanted to update it, watched a lot of videos and actually became braver after my Chanel loafers update. If you haven't watched that, I'm going to leave it in the cards. First you need to clean the bag and it's very recommended to clean it only with foam. So get a little bit of water mixed with a lot of soap, gentle cleansing, no fragrance soap and fill this fill it and, and, and mix it until it gets this foamy. Use this foam with the sponge soft part to just scrub very gently the outside of the bag. Afterwards you're going to get a clean a little bit wet wipe microfiber would be best so that you don't scratch anything and wipe off the foam this is how you actually can deeply clean leather but definitely don't do it so frequently if you want to clean leather first i'm going to start with a leather deglazer this is important to remove the first protective layer of the bag I'm just going to take this on a cotton pad and swap it really, really well over the areas, especially that I'm going to paint, but also other areas in order to make sure that it's a clean slate. Make sure to stay away from any markings on the bag. For example, the Chanel engraved text in gold. I'm going to stay away from this so that I don't wipe it. But as you can see, there is a lot of color that is coming out with this deep glazer but that's good so that we can start on a clean slate and color nicely. After cleaning, now it's the easy part. I will get one of the colors uh, that I have from Angelus. Um, this company is impeccable. They have a big array of colors and I'm planning to show you a lot of restorations for my vintage bags on this channel, so stay tuned for this but i go with a small brush first to the around the emblem and then afterwards i clean the emblem if anything came on top of it you don't want it to be messed up and then go around with a bigger brush in all the spots i definitely recommend to go with thin layers that rather than thick and paint it like you paint nail polish thin two coats better than one thick coat um yeah this is very therapeutic, interestingly, after I started doing it, I was amazed. After the two coats, it was looking amazing and much better. After the color, you can get this bag uh, sealer. They come in matte and velvet and many different uh, versions. I use the satin one, which is in between, not too glossy, not too matte. Afterwards, you use leather conditioner. This one is the best. I use it for all my expensive shoes and bag. Anything in bags in anything that is in leather, it really makes it look new and soft again. After conditioning the leather you must protect it that's why I spray it with one of the protection uh, sprays I use this also on my white sneakers Wow. 
voila this is the bag before and after let me know if you like this type of videos or not i like to share with you my uh, endeavors into bringing back my expensive bags and also my attempt to buy bags that are in a much lesser price point and bringing them back to life see you in my next video bye bye